everybody. Hello, everybody. Indiana Jack here. We have a great show planned for you truck drivers and owner operators this morning. Thanks for riding along with me, as I've said for years, although in this case we're not riding anyway. We're stationary. You're the ones that are rolling. But we still provide to you good, in this case, trucking information rather than just entertainment, which is what the old Indiana Jack channel. And since we're talking about that, I would like to say up front, because I'm getting requests and um, concerns about it, the Indiana Jack channel on YouTube will always be the same, okay? I'll never change that. I will still occasionally put a video out on that, and that will be the same. I won't um, be putting any videos for this channel on there, so you can count on that. I think that it's good to preserve something like that just for having an accurate history of what I did uh, for those 12 years uh, while being a truck driver. And that is my background, by the way. I was a truck driver for 12 years and owner operator for about half of those years, maybe a little bit more. Now I've come into the office to be a recruiter and I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying recruiting drivers that are not just drivers, they're owner operators and coming to a carrier. So it's not the kind, this show is not the kind of recruiters where if you're just getting out of trucking school and you're looking for a place to start, we don't really do that. Although I'm getting a lot of questions for that, uh, for those kind of questions. So maybe we will include a segment of that in each one of these shows right here, Saturday mornings at noon, midday, Eastern time, right here in Calhoun, Georgia. Uh, Let's actually get the show uh, started. There's an old joke that's one of the oldest trucking jokes out there. A great way to retire, retire as a truck driver with $1 million in your account. And that is to start out with $2 million. Get it? Of course you do. Um, and that doesn't have to be the case. That is funny, um, and but it's so true with many truck drivers. Um, so we want to help you learn how to run your trucking business so that you can retire with three million instead of starting with two million and only ending up with one million. I've always liked that joke, so uh, I don't know what the percentage of drivers that retire with a nice nest egg is, but it can be really profitable if you manage your business right. Uh, today's show uh, is about the cost of setting up your own authority, which I think that's everyone's goal as being an owner operator is having your own authority and not answering to anyone except for your customers and of course, Uncle Sam, you got to include that. When you have your own authority, you're dealing then with directly with the FMCSA and directly with your customers. And I'm not saying brokers because your broker is your customer. So you got to treat them good like your customers. Um, cost of setting up your own business. You know, before we do that, we uh, mainly take your questions here, actually your email, and you can send in email questions right at ask at askatruckingrecruiter.com, and that's me. I'll answer your question about recruiting uh, on this show. Uh, Indiana, Indiana, oh, this is from Gene Paul. Oops, I gave your last name. Sorry about that. Gene P., uh, Indiana Jack, should I get my own authority or should I lease on to a carrier? Well, that's what we're talking about today. So hopefully this will give you some of the answers to that. Uh, thank you, Gene. I uh, appreciate that. Um, we're going to go through the costs of setting up your own authority, what it will cost you to do that. Realistic cost, too, and I'll have a graphic at the end that has the total and everything. We'll have a drum roll and stuff with the total. Uh, let's get right to it, okay? 
Um, your LLC to get started is $100. I rec what I do here in this recruiting situation, you can save about half that. And this is, I guess it's a free plug for them, free plug for them, Swift Filing, S-Y-F-T, Filing. They'll do it for $49, but uh, in one day, one day. So, but still I'm going to keep this at $100 for you to budget for that, okay? Your DOT and MC number, $300, okay? That's something you have to have. Look on the side of every truck going down the freeway, and they have those FMCSA numbers right on the side of the truck that identify them. Your BOC3 form, which is a form you have to have filled out $30, or $30, not too much. And by the way, this list is in no particular order, okay? So, uh, your truck, okay? You have several options here of what to do. I'm going to go with the option of starting with an older truck, like a $20,000 truck, getting your business rolling, uh, rather than buying new, then I guess that $20,000 would be your down payment, right? But in this case, let's say you have $21,000, you're going to buy a truck, $21,000 is what we will budget today for, the, in the, for this example. Insurance. A lot of guys, they don't understand about insurance. It's not like a car where you don't have to have anything down for insurance. You have to have quite a big sum of money down or no one will insurance you or insure you. Uh, insurance, $4,200. And that gets your insurance rolling. And if you have multiple trucks, it's that much per truck. Okay. Okay. Let's continue on here. Your IRP plates. IRP plates. Actually, let's not do that. Let's let's answer another question from Zippity. Zippity. You are a complete Moran and should stick to trucking and not make any more videos. I am a Moran. I'm assuming Zippity that you mean moron. So who's the moran here? Me or you? Well, we do give attention to trolls on occasion. And this is a, an occasion where a troll writes in. Thank you, Zippity. It's M-O-R-O-N, if you think I'm a moron. Uh, just don't watch the show. It's, it's simple. Just don't watch it. And then you won't have to... Uh, <clears throat> won't have to listen. Uh, by the way, our sponsor, we have two sponsors to this show really quick. DAT Solutions, that's part of getting your truck driving business started, right? You have to have a good place to get all of your loads from, and DAT Solutions is a good way to do it. Uh, go over there to their website. The link is down below in the show notes. If you click on, click on that link, you get one month free. If you click there, that's a good deal, and that will be definitely part, an important part of your business. <clears throat> Let's continue on with our questions as we drink coffee <clears throat> this nice Saturday morning. IRP plates, continuing on. Uh, here in Georgia, they're $1,200. In your state, they could be as much as $1,600. Probably in the communist states, they're much, much more. But here in Georgia, $1,200. If the stickers, the stickers on the side of your truck, $25. $25 for that IFTA sticker. Your US UCR, which stands for Unified Carrier Registration, you have to have that $62. The FMCSA is feeing us to death. So, like last week's show, if you watch that, it, it, well, it took 30 documents for, just for a regular truck driver to drive down the freeway. So all of these fees 
are, it's just getting ridiculous, but I'm telling you the facts, not opinion. Sorry to get opinion mixed up in this. Okay, your 2290 form, which is your IRS form, $550, $550 for your getting your EIN number. You got to have that. You get that from the IRS. And last in this segment is your decals. You've seen me in, on the Indiana Jack channel putting decals on trucks. Um, if you go to a carrier, they'll give you decals. But in this case, you would have to, uh, unless you have a vinyl cutting machine, you would have to get some. I'm going to budget $150 for that. About $150 to get letters to put the numbers and all the things that you need on the side of your truck. That's a fair amount of money to budget for that. Okay. Before we go on, our um, don't forget our sponsor, Traveloco. As a disclaimer, I am a recruiter for them, uh, but I don't include that in the show. Someday we'll do a show about that, but... Uh, been around now, they're celebrating their 11th year. They're starting to get really good credibility out there. Give them a call today. I'll put a link down below. They're known as the home of 85%. You can make 85% of the rate con, the real rate con that the broker signs your customer. You will get 85% of that, and that's a... a a great deal for you to get your trucking business started. And uh, if you find the load yourself, they're known for that too. You can find your own load or an agent will find a load for you. And for both of those, it's still 85%. Good deal. Give them a call today. Tell them that Indiana Jack sent you and uh, they'll treat you the same as they do everyone else. But give them a call today the folks at Traveloco. Uh, Noman asks, thank you for writing in, appreciate your questions. Noman, this is a good question because it leads into our show for next week, which is, what is a good software to track my IRS expenses and my other trucking expenses? Good question. <laughs> I mean, that really is good, a good question. Next week, we're going to talk all about that, so make sure you tune in next week when we talk about software that you use in your trucking business. Whether you're leased onto a carrier or you have your own uh, authority, like what we're talking about today, you're going to need a good software accounting package. So we're going to talk about three of those next week right here on Ask a trucking recruiter. Continuing on <coughs> our uh, totals here, we are at number 11, your DOT inspection. Find the cheapest place to do that, although maybe not. Maybe you want to make sure your truck is in good working order while rolling down the street. Um, $75. For your truck. It, I know that varies a little bit. Sometimes it's 150. It just depends on where you go. But in this example, we're using $75 to budget for a, a DOT inspection. <clears throat> Number 12, fire extinguishers. Uh, one fire extinguisher, $30. Your ELD and paper log books, $160. By the way, don't forget, uh, the DOT is checking your trucks, making sure you have paper logbooks in them. That's uh, really high on their list because they know it's an easy ticket, okay? Make sure you have paper logbooks, even though we're all on electronic logs these days. The trailer, this is a bit controversial, uh, but again, if it's your own authority, I would recommend maybe buying a used trailer. We're going to budget 15000 for that. You could probably find one for a lot more and probably find one for a lot less, maybe more like 10000 But for this example, we're going in the middle $15,000. Uh, 
is a fair price for an old trailer that you can use to get yourself started in your own authority. Your GPS, got to have a good GPS, like a Rand McNally, um, just like having a Rand McNally paper atlas, it's good to have a, uh, a Rand McNally GPS uh, giving you your routing suggestions for you as an owner-operator truck driver. The FMCSA requires that you have a drug testing program for your company. So that's a third-party company that's monitoring your drug tests and making sure you're taking them. So make sure you have that engaged, and that's $300. Okay, some places you could maybe find a company to do it uh, cheaper. And by the way, in another show coming up, we're going to compare these prices that I'm giving you now, or the cost, with a carrier, leasing onto a carrier, or having your own authority. Which one is cheaper? Which one is better for you? And the final one is the government requires that you take a supervisor training class. They want you to, to learn how to supervise yourself. That's, that's a true story. They want you to take that class and you have to prove it. I think it's for um, if you plan on adding trucks that you know how to supervise your driver, so they put that in there. Um, the grand total of all of these expenses, are you ready? Here's your grand total to start your own trucking authority business, $43,532. $43,532, folks, to start your own trucking business. Now, if you compare that to opening up your own restaurant or aquarium store or sporting goods or whatever, it's still one of the cheaper businesses that you can get into without having all the expenses of open, opening up a restaurant. So, plus, you're probably watching this because you like truck driving. You like the freedom. You like being out there on the road. I understand that. Uh, but yeah, $43,532 to open up your own trucking business, having your own authority. You don't answer to anyone except for your customers <clears throat> and the DOT. Next week's show, including your questions, of course, and keep those coming in, man. I appreciate reading those all week and then reading them to you right here live on the show. Uh, what are some good accounting packages for my taxes? So we'll be doing that next week. I'm Indiana Jack, and we thank you for watching this morning. And have a good week, and we'll see you next week right here at 12 noon Eastern Time at this Indiana Jack channel, Ask a Trucking Recruiter. Thank you.